Welcome back to the Solutions Manual. In this video, we will solve the problem app 2-12 from RC Hippaler Engineering Statics to addition. According to this problem, we have to determine the magnitude of the resultant force and its direction theta measured counterclockwise from the positive x-axis. Now to solve this problem, first of all, we have to resolve all the forces into their respective components. So starting with the F1 force, so for the F1 force, I have a vertical component and I have a horizontal component. Similarly, for the F3 force, I have a horizontal component and a vertical component. Let's label them. So for the horizontal and the vertical components of the F1 and F3 force, we have to consider this 3, 4, 5 triangle. So the vertical component of F1 force is F1 and the ratio of opposite which is 3 over hypotenuse which is 5. The horizontal component of the F1 force is F1 and the ratio of adjacent which is 4 and over the hypotenuse which is 5. And for F3 force, the vertical component is F3 and the ratio of opposite which is 3 over the hypotenuse which is 5. And the horizontal component is F3 and the ratio of adjacent which is 4 over hypotenuse which is 5. So, so far we have resolved all of the forces into their components. Now we have to find the horizontal and the vertical components of the resultant force. So for the horizontal component of the resultant force, let's call this FRX. I'm considering right hand side as positive. It is equal to summation of the forces in the x direction. So we have F1 4 upon 5 plus F3 4 upon 5. The F2 force has a single component and which is directed in the positive y axis. And if I substitute the values, I would have FRx is equal to F1 and F1 is 15 kN into 0 0.8 plus F3 and F3 is again 15 kN into 0 0.8. So upon simplifications, FRx comes out to be 24 kN. And it is directed in the positive x axis. Now we have to do the same for the vertical component of the resultant force. So we have FR by, we are considering up direction as positive, is equal to summation of forces in the y direction. So we have F2 plus the vertical component of the F3 force which is F3 into 3 upon 5 minus y minus because the vertical component of the F1 force is directed in the downward direction and we had considered up direction as positive. So we have F1 into 3 upon 5. So upon simplifications we have FRY is equals to F2 which is 20 kN plus 15 into 0 0.6 minus 15 into 0 0.6 so FRY comes out to be 20 kN. And it is directed in the up direction in the positive y axis. So now we have to find the magnitude so we can use the Pythagoras theorem. So the magnitude of the resultant force is the square root of FRx square plus FRy square. So we have the square root of 24 square plus 20 square. So the magnitude of the resultant force comes out to be 31.24 kN. So this is our first answer.
and now for the direction theta if i draw the resultant force then it would look something like this let's say this is the positive x axis this is the positive y axis this is the negative x axis and that's the negative y axis frx is directed towards the positive x axis and fry is directed in the positive y axis so by using the head to tail rule of vector addition this is the force fry and the resultant is drawn from the tail of the first vector to the head of the last vector let me label them so this right here is fr this is fry and that's frx and the angle theta has to be measured counterclockwise from the positive x axis so this is the angle theta so for theta we can use tan theta is equals to only the magnitudes of fry over the magnitude of frx so we have fry which is 20 kN and frx which is 24 kN so we have theta is equals to tan inverse of 20 over 24 so theta comes out to be 39.81 degrees so this is our second answer So this is it for this problem. I hope you would find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to subscribe to this channel. And if you have any questions or any doubts, then feel free to ask in the comment section and I will answer it as soon as possible. Thank you.